Today we're going to take a look at how to hack the Amazon Dash button. First, follow the instructions that come with the device to set it up. However, don't select a product just yet. When Amazon asks you to specify a product to order, exit the setup. If you see a notification that the setup is incomplete, you've done it right. Before we get into the hack, let's go over some basic internet concepts. In order for a device to be on the internet, it must abide by IP or internet protocol. Every device on the internet has its own IP address. Additionally, every device has a MAC address, which is just a fancy identification number for the device. A device uses its MAC address to request an IP address, so that way it can be allowed to use the internet. This type of request is called an ARP request. Every time you press the dash button, the device boots up and tries to connect to your home network. It does this by sending out an ARP request. The router will then return an available IP address that the device will use for all subsequent communications. At this point, you should have a basic understanding of IP addresses and ARP requests, an intentionally incomplete Amazon Dash button setup, and Python and Wireshark installed on your computer of choice. Here's how the hack works. When you press the Amazon Dash button, a program on your computer will be monitoring your internet traffic, looking specifically for a request coming from the Amazon Dash button's MAC address. At that point, the program will trigger any code you've defined. Though the communication will still be sent to Amazon, because we haven't specified a product order, the transaction will not occur. Let's launch a Wireshark and select the Wi-Fi monitoring option. Now press the dash button and look through the list of results for an ARP request coming from an Amazon device. Take note of the source's MAC address. This is your dash button's unique hardware identifier. Here's the code we'll be using today. It will monitor our network traffic looking for an ARP request from the button and will send out a text message if it finds it. The GitHub link for this code is available in the description below. Here's a quick demo of it in action. I press the button at this point, and now it uses Twilio to send a text message to my phone. If you enjoyed this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.